Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Before we start please subscribe to our channel. Today, we will be discussing with you the top 10 highest dividend stocks. Unum Group is a financial services company operating in the life and health insurance industry and based in Tennessee. The company offers financial protection benefit solutions in the US, the UK, and Poland. This August, Unum Group raised its financial year 2021 outlook, bringing their after-tax adjusted operating income per share view to state a 1 to 3% decline rather than the previous 5 to 6% decline. Additionally, Barclays also raised its price target on shares of Unum Group this April from $23 to $26. Lincoln National Corporation is an operator of insurance and retirement businesses across the U.S. Lincoln National Corporation had an EPS of $3.17, beating estimates by $0.72. Cents. The company's revenue was $4.90 billion, up 16.49% year-over-year and also beating estimates by $112.73 million. Lincoln National Corporation has also gained 28.89% in the past six months and 38.26% year-to-date. Jefferies Financial Group Inc. is an investment banking and brokerage company that also works in the asset management business in the US, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and Asia. Jefferies Financial Group Inc. had an EPS of $1.30, beating estimates by $0.40. Cents. The company's revenue was $4.44 billion, up 286.68% year-over-year and also beating estimates by $2.86 billion. Jefferies Financial Group Inc. has also gained 26.23% in the past six months and 41.14% year-to-date. The PNC Financial Services Group, Inc. is a diversified financial services company operating in the U.S. through its retail banking. The PNC Financial Services Group, Inc. had an EPS of $2.43, missing estimates by $0.28. Cents. The company's revenue was $4.67 billion, up 14.5% year-over-year and beating estimates by $244.38 million. The PNC Financial Services Group, Inc. has also gained 18.67% in the past six months and 27.4% year-to-date. Citizens Financial Group, Inc., a bank holding company, works to provide retail and commercial banking products in the U.S. Citizens Financial Group, Inc. had an EPS of $1.46, beating estimates by $0.32. Cents. The company's revenue was $1.61 billion, but missing estimates by $20.36 million. Citizens Financial Group, Inc. has however gained 8.69% in the past six months and 23.54% year-to-date. One Main Holdings, Inc. is a financial service holding company. By the end of the first quarter of 2021, 43 hedge funds out of the 866 tracked by Insider Monkey held stakes in One Main Holdings, Inc. worth roughly $886 million. This is compared to 30 hedge funds in the previous quarter with a total stake value of approximately $654 million. The Bank of New York Mellon Corporation is a U.S.-based financial services company that operates across the globe. By the end of the first quarter of 2021, 49 hedge funds out of the 866 tracked by Insider Monkey held stakes in the Bank of New York Mellon Corporation worth roughly $4.77 billion. This is compared to 47 hedge funds in the previous quarter with a total stake value of approximately $4.69 billion. Ally Financial Inc. is a bank holding company operating mainly in the U.S. and Canada to serve consumer, commercial, and corporate customers and provide them with digital financial products. By the end of the first quarter of 2021, 51 hedge funds out of the 866 tracked by Insider Monkey held stakes in Ally Financial Inc. worth roughly $2.801 billion. This is compared to 57 hedge funds in the previous quarter with a total stake value of approximately $2.59 billion. Morgan Stanley is an investment banking and brokerage company. Morgan Stanley has also gained 35.53% in the past six months and 47.43% year-to-date. 
By the end of the first quarter of 2021, 79 hedge funds out of the 866 tracked by Insider Monkey held stakes in Morgan Stanley worth roughly $5.29 billion. This is compared to 66 hedge funds in the previous quarter with a total stake value of approximately $5.67 billion. Citigroup Inc. is a financial services company operating in the diversified banks. Citigroup Inc. has also gained 2.42% in the past six months and 18.92% year-to-date. By the end of the first quarter of 2021, 90 hedge funds out of the 866 tracked by Insider Monkey held stakes in Citigroup Inc. worth roughly $6.94 billion. This is compared to 95 hedge funds in the previous quarter with a total stake value of approximately $7.12 billion. They are really amazing. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.